Hi, this is Joan Hunter. Welcome to another exciting episode of Miracles Happen. Today, my very, very special guest is Julie Meyer. She's gonna be sharing about what's going on in her life, but also an incredible encounter that actually two encounters that she had regarding me and this ministry. And it's just amazing what God has done in her through the influence of what God has done in my life. And I want to encourage you to stay tuned because it's going to be a lot of fun too. Amen. Welcome to Miracles Happen. Joan Hunter has been traveling the world in the healing ministry for more than 45 years. Be aware of what the enemy is trying to do to you and say no more. She is hosted around the world for healing and miracle services because wherever she goes, miracles happen. Joan shares her tenacious faith in how to pray for the sick. Bringing people here and sending them out to the four corners of the earth. That's my job. She traveled the world with her parents, Charles and Francis Hunter, for over 30 years. I expect a miracle tonight. Joan sees healing, signs, and wonders happen all the time in the name of Jesus, and she wants to share this with you. As anointed as I am, so are you. Whether it's filmed on location at Joan Hunter Ministries in Tomball, Texas, or from around the world, you can be sure to hear good news and receive the resounding message that miracles happen. God has anointed in the area of healing, body, mind, soul, spirit, and finances. So stay tuned and join us for this week's extraordinary episode of Miracles Happen. God is a God of hope who heals the body, spirit, and soul. Are you ready for your miracle? Miracles happen. Does anyone have any joy tonight? Oh. And, and God set my feet a-dancing And he gave me beauty for all my ashes Oh, and God, he set my feet a-dancing He gave me joy he gave me joy. And I tell you what, you can get out of your seats if you want to move around a little bit. He gave me joy, 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 joy. And God sent my feet to dancing, gave me beauty for my eyes. Be the dancing, give me joy for morning. I got the joy, I got the joy, I got the joy. I got the joy down in my joy down in my soul. I got the joy, I got the joy, I got the joy. I got the joy down in my joy down in my soul. And God set my feet to dancing, took away the spirit of heaviness. God set my feet to dancing.
joyously, horse and the rider thrown into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, he is triumphed gloriously, horse and the rider thrown into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, he is triumphed gloriously, horse and the rider thrown into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, he is triumphed gloriously, horse and the rider thrown into the sea. sing like David sang. When the Spirit of the Lord moves upon my heart, I will sing like David sang. I will sing, sing. I will sing like David. Oh, I will sing, sing. I will sing like David sang. When the Spirit of the Lord moves upon my heart, I will shout like David. Like David, when the spirit of the Lord moves upon my heart, I will dance like David. Miracles are happening everywhere, and now you can proclaim it everywhere you go with the Miracles Happen t-shirt and blanket. The t-shirts come in all sizes and a variety of colors, as well as with rhinestones and without. The Miracles Happen t-shirt is available for men and women. Get your shirt today and watch as God opens doors for you to pray for the sick around you. 
Both the Miracles Happen t-shirts and blanket are a constant reminder for all of us that miracles happen everywhere. And check out His Healing Promises. His Healing Promises is a selection of scriptures on healing read by Joan Hunter. If you need encouragement about your healing or faith to trust God in a difficult time, this is for you. Let your spirit be lifted and your hope restored as you listen to God's healing promises over your life. Go to MiraclesHappen.tv now to order your Miracles Happen t-shirt and blanket or your copy of His Healing Promises or call 1-281-789-7500. I want to encourage you to welcome my very, very special friend, Julie Meyer, and special guest on Miracles Happen today. Uh, greet the people while you have, just while you're here. Hello, everyone. It is so good to be here and to be with my friend Joan. I don't know when I saw you last, but gosh, when I stepped off the plane and the humidity hit me, I thought, I'm in Texas. Yes. <laughs> That's for sure. For sure. It's the glory cloud. It's the glory cloud. It was, it was yes. definitely. Absolutely the glory cloud. <laughs> and uh, I remember um, we were talking the other day on the phone, and uh, and I just absolutely love all that she does and her music. And, you know, and it's just like, you know, just kind of getting into it, putting the CDs on, MP3s, however you have it done, and just really, really worshiping the Lord with Julie. And uh, I have a friend um, who is is here actually to hear you who flow in from another country to be here and she says I listen to Julie Meyer mm. every night before I go to bed and she says it brings me such peace so mm -hmm. I just think that's just really neat that's and all sad. your awesome worship that you do on your CDs and if you don't have any you need to be sure to get some because they're amazing and uh, but anyway a few years ago, we were in uh, Hawaii together. Okay. I had asked you and Walt, your husband Walt, to come out to help me minister, and we ended up, and you brought all your children, and I think, I don't know if you had a daughter-in-law at the time. I know you had at least one. We two. had two daughters-in-laws at the time, and we came out there, and all kinds of neat things were happening, and miracles were happening. Mm -hmm. You were leading everybody in the worship, and it was a very, very unique experience. We had just had a lot of fun, and uh, seeing a lot of people heal and set mm -hmm. free. And uh, during the offering, a lot of you are familiar with my teaching on scriptural giving, like giving an amount like a scripture, in particular Deuteronomy 111. And I encourage people to give $111 if they feel like they can. And uh, mainly is God as God directs you. And and I've done that. And it's, it's a scripture on, you know, that God's going to give you a thousand times more numerous than, you know, you were. He's going to bless you just as he's promised you. I mean, it's a fabulous scripture. And we have seen incredible financial miracles happen as a result of people that have given $111 into Miracles Happen and so forth. And, uh, and so, uh, so she and her husband were out there listening to this teaching. Mm -hmm. So you are. Well, so my husband, yeah, we were out in Hawaii, but it was, I feel like I had an amazing mentor in, um, learning to give because there's not a lot of teaching on it. And I knew you, but I also knew that you were a woman that massively gives. Um, and you actually brought like my whole family out. So, um, but you were talking about giving and the, uh, $111. And we had this van that you had to pray in tongues if you were going up a hill. I mean, you just didn't know if you were going to get there. It was so old. And I remember you talking about the teaching and there, there's always testimonies. You always have oh, yes, testimonies. Yes, always have testimonies. And, you know, Walt and I were like, <sighs> you know, it, was, it wasn't like, oh, we're giving. We just like, I didn't know if I believed it, but I knew that you are a giver and a sower. You knew and you I believed it. it. <laughs> I knew that she believed it. And I knew that people were, you know, and we're like, well, we need a van, you know. Um, and we just, we just, we tied 111, you know, we just put, put, wrote our seed offering on there. And well, I hope it works, whether it works or I not. Mean, it was you like, know, yeah. okay, I don't know. I'm, I just want to, let's try it. Um, and then... The next time I saw you was in Missouri, somewhere like an hour from Kansas City. Yeah, literally in the middle of nowhere down a dirt road. And the yes. day that you were there, we were given a new, it was like brand spanking new Lexus. And we went to your meeting, 
and said, you're not going to believe this. And then jo Joan goes, oh, I am going to believe this. <laughs> Um, and I said, we're going to get this car. We actually, when we were in Hawaii, we actually tithed, like you said. And we're like, Lord, we, we just need a car, you know? Um, and just need a car. We, and so we went to your meeting, said hello, hugged you, and then we went off. We picked the car up. We drove back. And then we all got our picture in front of it. In front of this car. <laughs> and, um, but, but what that did, too... I feel that it broke a spirit of poverty. Absolutely. And it, it, we, mm -hmm. we don't hear that, you know, but because when, when you're when you're like, oh, I don't know, we've got to get a car. Let's save. No, let's let's give. give. It's, yes. And it breaks that. And I feel like we have walked in a whole different, you know, uh, j j uh, a whole different mindset since that. And I feel like you're teaching Patricia King, Stacy mm -hmm. Campbell, Heidi, they're, they're like massive givers. And I just, there is the but that spirit of bolts. poverty was yeah. broken off of you that day it because we won't broke. go into detail, but right. how God has supernaturally blessed you and you pinch yourself sometimes. It's it's absolutely crazy. Yes. And it's all for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's not like I'm going to give because I want and I want and I want. No, I just, we, we actually had a need. And um, we just, I didn't believe it, but then you said it. So I'm like, we're doing this. And, and you honored me yeah. by following through, by in that, that obedience. And, you know, we're, we're like, where can we give? I mean, mm -hmm. what can we do? Where can we give? And um, so I, I'm just a personal testimony of that teaching, and I mm -hmm. think it's a powerful teaching. And what's so neat is as we progress into the next section is we did, uh, I told you that, well, first of all, you had a book and you want to be on Sid Roth. You sent it to them. They said no. And I said, after I filled out a lot of paperwork. After, after you filled out a lot of paperwork. <laughs> yes. So That's they said, joke, yeah. they, yes, they said no. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I came back and I had a prophetic. They said, actually, three different times. They said, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. no. Filled out more paperwork. No. <laughs> Filled out more paperwork. No. <laughs> and so I said, if you do these three things, mm -hmm. and I spoke prophetically as an apostle yeah. over you, and and you know with you, and I spoke one, two, and three, and number three arrived in the mail, and Sid Roth called. Absolutely, yeah. That was so cool. That like, was crazy. This came in the mail, and I got the call, and you've been on, and and that was like so exciting. Number one, that number was so two. Exciting. Now tell us about singing with the scriptures on it's supernatural. Yeah, because I, I you opened that door. And I, when she says do something, I'm telling you, you want to do A, B, and C. Um, but just recently. And God honored their yes, obedience. He, he does mm -hmm. because it's out of a right heart. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you have, uh, you, you, you're a spiritual mom to so many people, a spiritual older sister. And, and we heed that and do it. I'm mm -hmm. like, yes. But just recently, just this past week, uh, I have my own show on the Sid Roth Network um, called Singing the Scriptures. It's a walk through the Psalms. And because I believe that the Psalms are full, they're full of tiny little instructions, you know, just do this and don't do that. But anyone can do it. And like Psalm 1 is the prosperity gospel before, before Oklahoma. And who did that yeah, exactly. one? And so I had my good friend, Joe. <laughs> Uh, because we, we kicked it all off we together. Did. We started with some worship, a little bit of teaching, and then I had Joan pray and decree Psalm 1 over people, and we're just walking through the Psalms. So, mm -hmm. uh, But yeah, that just was on this past week, so that is our new baby. Yay! And those are archived. You can go back yes. probably on, on his network, so that's really awesome. And uh, and it was so fun, and we, uh, I, we love the Psalms here at Joan Hunter Ministries, and we went through all of Psalms. We read like three, we had a staff meeting every Wednesday, went through three Psalms 
every Wednesday, and, and then Melody did some teaching on that. And it was so incredibly powerful. And, you know, and we actually did them out of the, the Passion Translation. Mm -hmm. I love the Passion. Yes, it was so good, so good. And uh, But it was so neat how God literally opened up a lot of revelation with my staff regarding that particular yeah. teaching. Yeah. You know, and so now, you know, you, you sing them, and it's just, it's so powerful because you don't just sing, you prophesy, right. which is like really awesome. And, and I just love how, you know, how you come in and you're, you're singing, you're prophesying and, you know, and you'll call people out and different things like that. So it's just awesome. Yeah. I, I love it. I, I, I believe what Dr. Brian Simmons says that every Psalm points to Messiah. Every Psalm mm -hmm. points us to Jesus and they're, they're nuggets. I like to say David wrote them down inspired by the spirit so that we, we could sing them out. Mm -hmm. If you sing the scriptures, if you sing the Psalms, it does not guarantee that you'll make the worship team. I like to say that, but it does guarantee breakthrough. And I believe yes. that I've walked in it. And see, it's kind of interesting that it starts off with financial breakthrough. Yeah. You know, because when you get your financial breakthrough, a lot of the other stuff in our lives, it, it will just make it a whole lot easier. Yeah. I mean, that happened with me, but it happened with Psalm 1. <laughs> yes, right there. And uh, her, her book called singing the scriptures is really awesome and amazing and it's just a lot of fun you know this book and reading it and and just sharing out of it and I encourage y'all to yeah. get one there's a lot of testimonies in it from people that are not necessarily singers it's not for the worship team it's for everybody else that maybe didn't make it make a joyful noise exactly. into the Lord exactly just and God loves to hear me sing you. and nobody else but God loves but to hear me sing there's power when you release those words I don't think the Bible was to be read silent. It's to be oh, totally. loud because when you sing those words, they go forth and they create. Mm -hmm. they, Hebrews 4 says the word of God is alive and full of living power. So we need to make some sound. Right. And I encourage people when they read the Bible, it says, you know, faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God. Well, to read the Bible you can read it quietly because you don't want to read it out loud on the plane, you know, per se. But you can read it out loud and, and so that your natural ears hear it along with your spirit, man. And that really helps. And then I love, like I have a couple of the audio Bibles that I can play in my phone no matter where I am. And so I can constantly keep the word in, you know, in every area of my life, which is like so exciting. Yeah, that's it, so You know, it's just my mom and dad wrote a book called um, Make the Word Come Alive. Mm -hmm. And and as you read it and just say, God, speak to me through this word I'm going to read today. And you in turn are going to see and you're going to experience the reality of what the word is really about. And then you might just break off into a tune or hey, something. You, you might, never can sure. tell. And then walk in it. Yes. <laughs> tell us about your online worship community. Uh, well, we have a uh, online worship community. It's called Into the River. We started it with my sons um, through a prophetic word that James Gall had had maybe seven year, years ago, but uh, and we're singing through the Psalms. We have 24-7 radio. I've been singing through the song, word for word. So it's not Julie's song. It is the words of David um, with little choruses so that people can sing along and get that psalm in you. But we have 24-7 radio. There's about almost 40 hours of soaking to Psalms 1 through 49. We're just getting ready to upload Psalm 50, but these Psalms are powerful for breakthrough. We do weekly Bible studies and live interactive classes, which you were on one of those classes. Yes. And I've just had, we have people from all over the world that have joined uh, our online community. And talk about unity in one accord. Oh, t yes. You know, you know, I'll say awesome. Germany, South Africa, uh, you know, uh, France. Uh, I, I love it. Um, Canada. <laughs> So, yeah, and we're just, we are walking through the Psalms because, you know, David what probably was was meditating on the Torah, the first five books of the Bible. The Psalms are in the middle. You sing them, and every Psalm, you, you just uh -huh. get more of Jesus in you. When you sing it, it's more than head knowledge. It gets in your core really mm -hmm. quickly, and it takes you from, me from memorizing the Word to actually being the Word. 
That's mine. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and then faith comes by hearing, and then you can read the Word of God. It goes into your sight, goes into your spirit, man. You read it out loud, goes into your natural ears. It's it's bound to just like yeah. literally take over your body yeah. and take over your life. And it's like, oh, you know, and then people will go, uh, and then they'll say a cuss word or something. You know, it's like, uh, you know, my God's going to fly all of my knees according yeah. to Christ and glory by Christ Jesus. Come on. And see, because what's in here, that's what's going to come out. Right. And, and that's what's so exciting is that we want the word of God in here so that we in turn can respond yeah. with the word of God. Yeah. And so even when you're, b before that word's in there, start right then. S David always started the song before the breakthrough. So mm -hmm. when you're still maybe frustrated, that's when you want to start because you will have breakthrough every single time. I believe singing the word is 100% breakthrough 100% of the time. And mm -hmm. that's my testimony. I've been singing it since 1983. And I believe I have longevity in my life to say, this has kept me steady in every season. It's impossible to get off the narrow road because there's a tune about right. Psalm 1. You know, don't go this way, go that way. Just constantly, you know, just invading every wrong mindset. And that's the beauty of the Word of God. And I know it. I have a, I have a journal. It's called Like a Diamond. Mm -hmm. And uh, a diamond is very multifaceted. And so is the Word of God. Because mm -hmm. you'll read a scripture, it'll mean this. I'll read a scripture, it'll mean this. And, and I just want to encourage you, the Word has a whole lot more in it than actually verbatim. And there's, and you pray and say, God, reveal to me what you want to, what you want me to hear from the scripture. And, and I really, really want to encourage you. And we both want to encourage you to get into the word of God. Amen. Thank you so much for you coming. Thank love you. you. For having me. Love yes. You. It's so fun seeing you again. And, uh, and I just want to thank you for watching today. Miracles happen. And I encourage you to watch again next week when we have another new episode episode of Miracles Happen. Miracles Happen. Thanks for watching Miracles Happen. Contact us at miracleshappen.tv or give us a call at 1-281-789-7500 or connect with Joan on Facebook at facebook.com slash Joan Hunter. And make sure to join us next week for Miracles Happen. God is a God of hope who heals the body, spirit, and soul. Are you ready?